I see an annoying- Oh, okay, I get it now. So we're just starting from the beginning and she doesn't fuck- Okay. <laughs> the girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Alright, uh... It's an ordinary school day like any other. Morning's usually the worst. I've always walked to school alone, I tell myself, but I have no motivation. There's always the anime club. Honestly, like, for if we stop for a second, if if Monica just goes to any guy in the school and says, yeah, we're three girls starting a club, we need some other members, everyone is going to join. If you tell me that three, formerly four, four cute girls are going to be running the club, you're not going to be having, like, issues with not having enough. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth, then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't look away. She parts her lips as if it was natural. But that means I can't stop here. I place it in her mouth. She for Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Justin, my heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Justin. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it? Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Oh, no. Uh. Huh. Huh. <laughs> uh. It's time to share poems. Ah. Uh. It's not, it's not the eyes that do it to me, it's, it's... I think I'm gonna talk to Natsuki. Seems fine. Yuri holds the poem to her chest. I'm gonna be taking this home with me and keeping it in my room. I'll take good care of it. It'll even- I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ha 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 ha. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. You know, Yuri, you don't have very good handwriting. And your cursive could use some work. And I don't know why you're drinking, like, Capri Sun while you're making this thing, but it's not... ...working. If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Okay, fuck it. Just Monica. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Just Monica. Justin's gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? Uh. <laughs> uh, try the top one. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Justin away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The tall day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ha ha ha. Wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. Please, Justin. You don't know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I want you all to myself. And I will only be yours. So let's think about this logically. He has... Pretty big titties. Nice. Ah, uh, ooh, ah, uh, well, that might be a little excessive. I think 
maybe three will be fine. That's probably good. It's just there. Yeah. Seems like a pretty good conversation. It's red now. It's blue now. Okay, so the we're just waiting here throughout the night. That's good. Uh, you know, for all, all things given, I'm impressed that this blood is not like just pitch black by now. It it seems to be drying, but not by much. I'm here. Justin, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. Ha. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, there you are. Hi again, Justin. Welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, uh... You know, I guess we can skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game? Whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Justin. You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible you didn't know that? Anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of, yeah, I, I like Yuri up until she stabbed herself. I kind of started to mess with her and I guess it drove her to kill herself. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it'd be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. No matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. It made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Oh gosh, I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. You want to see a trick? I can't do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Yeah, sure. Hello, Monica. You are a fucking whore. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some... Some time. Did I scare you? Aha, uh -huh, you're so cute. Anyways, Justin. I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thought- OH MY GOD, SHE JUMP SCARED ME! What the fuck? What's happening? Justin, what's happening to me? It hurts. I deleted her, by the way. There's extra dialogue. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm gonna put her back. I feel bad. I put her back. It hurts so much. Help me, Justin. It's okay, I put her back. Please hurry and help me. I did. I put her back. She's in. No, no, that's bullshit. Uh, look. Look, everybody. I put it there. Bullshit. Did you delete me? Only briefly. You went- you're back here. This- in- this, this is more of a technical error than it is user, I feel like. How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Justin. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind? Just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Alright, so that's that's the happy ending. I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All of my friends, I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. 
I know I said I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature. You, you would think that Monica, this bitch, at some point would just come up to me and say, Hey, you want to go get coffee? No. This dumbass bitch had to overthink it 50 steps. But you know what? We would have gotten along if she had asked me out for coffee. Okay, new game. Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Justin. We're in the literature club. I hope to enjoy your visit. Hey, Justin, I really want to thank you. I, I mean, I'm really happy you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything about that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I, I really know everything, Justin. <laughs> Tilda, I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now, and you make me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Or ever. No. What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Justin. Goodbye, Literature Club. Oh, man. So close. We actually had it going for a while. Oh, it's the intro music. Oh, that's clever. Monica's still a bitch, but that's clever. Every day, I imagine a future where all right, I yeah, can... that's the end of it. No, we're, nah, we're good. I don't really need to hear that. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out to the stream. It was it was fun. It was weird. But, uh, game. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll watch it. Everyone's getting mad. <laughs> it's, it, we're good. What will it take just to find that special day? You insult Monica again and I'm gonna cry? Monica's a bitch. What's she gonna do? Hack my stream and then stop it abruptly?